Hi guys, hopefully all of you are doing well. I've been gone attending some classes at work and I actually had to teach some, but in the meantime, I was playing with this recipe. It's my chocolate cream cheese pound cake with a mocha icing. I took it to work and everybody loved it. Let's get into it. We're gonna start by blending one and a half cups of butter and our cream cheese together. Please remember to use the recipe when you're making this cake. It can be found at gdseasoning.com. The link will be in the description below the video. After all of the cream cheese and butter is mixed really well, I'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar, which is a half a cup of brown sugar and then two and a half cups of regular granulated sugar. For this recipe, I suggest you guys go ahead and make the recipe as written the first time before you go cutting back on any of the sugar. I tried it because I know some of you like to do that. All you're gonna get is a cake that has a really intense chocolate flavor, but it won't be very sweet. So follow the recipe. <laughs> Now, after I give my bowl a good scrape to make sure everything is incorporated really well, I'm gonna start adding my eggs. We're gonna add the eggs one at a time, making sure that the egg is well blended before adding the next. And just as an added reminder, when you're baking, you always wanna use room temperature ingredients. So my eggs are room temperature and so was my butter and cream cheese. This was one of those recipes where I just kinda of was sitting and wondering, I wonder would this work if I actually tried it? So I gave it a try and it worked out really well. After I've mixed in all of my eggs and make sure they were well incorporated, I'm gonna add my vanilla, that's pure vanilla extract. Mix that in and then I turned around and added about three tablespoons of espresso. You can also use a strong brewed coffee, but definitely leave that ingredient in. Don't take it out. Next, I'm gonna get going on my dry ingredients, which is some all-purpose flour, some cocoa powder, salt, and baking soda. And I'm just gonna sift that together really well. Me personally, I prefer cake flour while I'm baking cakes, especially with pound cakes because it's gonna make for a little lighter texture of the cake. But if you use all-purpose flour, go ahead, it's no problem at all. Just make sure you sift it with all of the other dry ingredients to make sure everything is blended together well and it'll be nice and aerated. With most of my cakes when baking, I just divide my dry ingredients into thirds and add it in one third at a time. Just as soon as the dry ingredients are mixed in really well, we're gonna stop and turn off the beaters or your mixer if you're using a stand mixer. And I'm gonna scrape down my bowl and make sure everything is nice and smooth and I'm going to fold in one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. <laughs> this part makes me laugh because this was a last minute decision um, when I made this cake for the first time. And I said, well, if they don't like it, well, we just won't use it anymore. But it actually worked out really well using the semi-sweet or you can actually use dark chocolate morsels also. Now all we have to do is place our batter into a bundt pan that has been buttered and floured. We're gonna bake this pound cake at 325 degrees for about an hour and 20 to 25 minutes or until a skewer is inserted and comes out clean. Once this beautiful chocolate pound cake comes out, we're gonna let it cool in the pan for about five minutes so it can start to pull away and that'll make it easy for us to turn it out onto a rack and let it cool completely. In the meantime, let's make the mocha icing. It's only three ingredients. We have powdered sugar, unsweetened cocoa powder, and a little bit of milk. And I'm just gonna whisk that together until it's nice and smooth and a pourable consistency. As far as the icing goes for this recipe, making this mocha icing, I wanted to keep it simple. It only has three ingredients and we can still make it fairly quickly and it pours over the cake absolutely beautifully. For those of you who would like a more decadent touch, you can also use the chocolate ganache recipe that we poured over the chocolate sour cream cake in another video. I'm gonna include that icing on the bottom of the recipe also. This cake's chocolate flavor and velvety texture is definitely something you don't want to miss. Serve it with some ice cream if you want. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. You know I appreciate it when you come cook with me and hang out. Don't forget this recipe and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. And I'll see you guys next time.